folks, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today. It is November 11th, 2024, Veterans Day. I want to give a shout out to all our veterans and their families who have served our country. Thank you very much. God bless each and one of you. Um, here we got a view of the uh, live webcam. It's currently 11.20 a.m. Central Daylight Time. And it's a little steamy. Some of the geysers are a little dirty today. Um, there was some earthquakes after my report about how I thought there was going to be more earthquakes. And there's been some today. Uh, USGS is only reporting one earthquake so far in the last 24 hours. A magnitude 1.0, but there's been more recent earthquakes. I'll show you um, that they have not reported this um, those yet. Anyways, this 1.0 was 7.5 miles in depth, or about 12 kilometers. So here's the location of that 1.0. Up over here to the north um, east is West Thumb. And this is the location of one of the last major eruptions. This one here was about 70,000 years ago. It covers an area about the size of Washington, D.C. and is about a mile thick. Drawn out in red is the Teton Fault. Over here is Heart Lake. And when it did its unzipping, unzipping with multiple eruptions and it got down here with the explosions, this is when the two resurgent domes collapsed at the same time, which would be the Mellor Lake Resurgent Dome and the Sour Creek Resurgent Dome up over here. The only monitor that the 1.0 shows up is at West Thumb and I'll make that one bigger. Slow moving tremor as you can see and it's all popping as the ground gets brittle because of the pressure of the rising magma. Magma naturally wants to rise much like a beach ball full of air being held underwater. Um, but you can see the sharpened points here of the ground becoming brittle. And we got other earthquakes and I'll report those in a minute. Also, this monitor at West Thumb is the only monitor that shows the earthquake that occurred. Um, it was reportedly even felt there in Miami, Florida. And there's the signature. Yeah, it definitely shook up the caldera. Let me go to the spectrogram for you. Yeah, and it lasted about an hour here at Yellowstone. Let me go back to the signature. Oops, wrong button. Okay, right there. Yeah, it sloshed around. Look at that. This is the first wave of the earthquake as it came in, which would be called um, the P wave because it goes directly through the earth. And then the S wave right here is called um, S because it goes around the outside edge of the earth. But it's also interesting that it only showed up at West Thumb of all the monitors that I looked at. West Thumb in 2011, USGS did a scenario for a multiple earthquakes and a major eruption that caused a tsunami there at West Thumb. This here is the borehole for the Madison River area. It's a very deep well. I'll give you a link to this document down below in the more information box, but here's the borehole. It's not as deep as some of them. It is uh, 367 feet for the strain meters, and the monitors for the earthquake is uh, about 339 feet to 341 feet. The tilt meter for Borehole 950, again, Norris Geyser Basin, um, stopped working in 2023. And yeah, you can see different, I don't know if I can make that bigger. But this year, there's been a lot of activity and we got some peaks. I don't know if I, yeah, that's about as big as, well, maybe I can make it bigger. That's as big as I can make it. Here you can see we have no tilt data from September of 2023. And we'll bring it down. Yeah. But up until that date, you can see how the ground was rising. Let me make that bigger, I hope. There you go. 
Anyways, because it's so deep, you don't pick up what's going on under the ground. And I've talked about how you can tell which direction from the monitor the earthquake came from. Here we got popping over the ground because it's getting brittle. Majority of the signal is to the bottom, so that would be south. If it was upward, it would be north. And then, yeah, see all this. Let me find some more here if I can find the right line. There you go. If you got a larger screen where you can view these um, little marks on here, that would be great. But this is what's going on under the ground there in the last 24 hours. And then we got this little earthquake. And we'll pull it up. Well, we got another one right there afterwards. This is at the end of the data when I pulled the files earlier, probably about an hour ago. Going to Google Earth, I'll show you the location. Now, when it started its major unzipping for the last major eruption, about 350,000 years ago, um, this is the area that it started, and it did a counterclockwise rotation of multiple explosions until it got down here, you know, where we had that 1.0 earthquake, and there's Heart Lake. And again, that, this is where, um, that's when the Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome uh, and the Sour Lake Resurgent Dome collapsed at the same time. So we'll go back up over here. And this is that monitor right there. Yeah, lots of popping going on. I'm um, looking for the larger ones. This over here is probably when they adjusted the um, digital monitor because they're all digital now for the earthquake. Yeah. When when you see a square like that, it's either um, cropped or it's when they're adjusting the machine. And it looks like you know they adjusted the machine to me. So, here we got one there. We'll just kind of jump around. Now, this is within the last 24 hours that this activity is going on. Looks like they're waiting for Old Faithful to go off. You can tell here, too, that the ground's been rising up. And because of the um, the direction of the sun right now, yeah, we got a really good view of what's going on with the ground there. Yeah, I don't see a lot of people. It's been really cold. Here we have the monitor for West Thumb. One of the more recent earthquakes right there that's not being reported. That's the one I just showed you at um, 16, 18. You can see the line of melt. And we'll just kind of look around. We got another one there. Take a look at the signature yeah torlino slow moving um tremor um torlinos are indication when magma is rising up like i said it magma naturally wants to rise like a beach ball full of air being held under water and yeah, that's an indication that the magma is is coming up and there's another one let's look at the i'll go to the spectrogram for that one and that one, yeah, real deep. These are deep earthquakes. Okay. Got another one there. Yeah, Torlinos. And then, yeah, slow moving. Let's, let's make that bigger. See, that's up and down. Wavy motion, which would be an indication that magma, or another indication that magma is rising up in the system. Yeah. Just kind of jump around. Now that one there, it's got the sharpened points. So that means that the ground is getting brittle. The thing is, with the ground getting brittle, it's an indication that it's not bending. Um, it's fracturing. It's popping. You know, about 10, 11 years ago when I started monitoring Yellowstone, uh, the boreholes were not for showing um, this type of activity like they are now. Yeah, so it is increasing. We 
get another one right there. Yeah. Yeah, you can see even Old Faithful's dirty. It looks like it wants to go off. It might go off here while I'm making the video. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, but look how... how I have seen it dirtier in the past where it was black like coal. So this ain't too bad. But I do expect some more earthquakes today. Yeah, you can see how hot it is. Hot, hot, hot. And as they zoom in, you can see a good indication of the um, cracking of the ground. Yeah. Well, maybe I missed it going off. They're moving the camera. Anyways, that's all I have for you right now. If you do have any thoughts or comments, please put them down below. Yeah, I appreciate you watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Another reminder, yeah, about the trees that are dying that you can see there and up over there. Um, they're dying because of the gases, the toxic gases that are coming up. Um, I don't know what they're doing. They're looking up at the, the cliff there. Maybe they want to see if there's any new landslides. Yeah. So, again, make sure you're subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And, yeah, be prepared for anything. Look how dead those are. Um, please stay safe. And God bless you all. Happy Veterans Day. Bye.